is going on, you guys? It's your boy Avery LR32 here, and destroy the ever living boo boo brown stain off of that subscribe and that like button and that ding dong Taco Bell notification bell because we're only 10. That's right, 10 subscribers away from that golden 1,000 subscribers. And I know that we are going to get there sooner rather than later. So thank you all so much for the support. You know what time it is. It's that booty, booty, butt cheek category to talk about tier lists and meta decks and all that good stuff that's coming in the brand new whole mama set, just like Johnny Bravo used to say when I was a kid. So with the release of Magnificent Mavens, I figured I would do another tier list since Magnificent Mavens is right around the quarter because on the last tier list I did, I talked about how this was going to include Magnificent Mavens and I feel like a lot of that stuff still holds up to this day. But I still wanted to go back because I feel like some other decks in the background have changed a bit. So I figured it would be fun to kind of do an updated one. And honestly, doing tier lists, I just really enjoy doing. I kind of have fun with it and just kind of joke around and talk a bunch of shit. Gets me a lot of dislikes. That's why I always say to please like these videos because these especially do get a lot of dislikes. I think that's just from people just not liking my blunt sense of humor. Like, I'm an entertainer here on YouTube. I'm not just going to sit here and say this deck's good or this deck's bad. I'm going to tell you it is liquid dog ass with big old chunks inside. Starting off with amazement. Deck sucks. Alter guys, deck sucks ass. ABC, what are you doing? DDD, what are you doing? <laughs> like, honestly, it's just no. Fuck no. These decks, these decks are hot booty booty ass cheeks, man. Like... Oh, like, taking, like, 10 laxative ass cheeks bad. Labyrinth, I fucking despise this deck. Uh, <laughs> the day I'm making this video, I just did a live stream earlier this evening, and I went against this deck, and I was playing Crystal Beast. We'll talk about that in a minute, where that goes. Um, and this deck, like, it just does fucking nothing. Like, it sets a bunch of back row and hopes that it works. In my mind, Labyrinth, especially Labyrinth in particular, because they've hyped it up so fucking much and given it all this support. This deck will not be good. I repeat, this deck will not be good until it gets a boss monster that is an Omni Negate, and it says, negate the activation of the card, banish it face down, and set any trap from your deck. It can be activated this turn. Then Labyrinth will be scary as shit, because then you have a boss monster that facilitates gameplay, like facilitates the plays that you want to do, while also being an Omni Negate. Give it like 2,500 attack and defense, you're off to the races. So, no, th these decks, just, just don't play these. Now, as I just mentioned, Crystal Beast, if Crystal Beast were on this person's tier list, which I, I don't know how the fuck to make one or else I feel like I can make a better one, <laughs> um, I would put Crystal Beast in Rogue. Uh, that's even post-Magnificent Maven. There's a, a couple different ways that you can build Crystal Beast. If you want to go down the combo route and make the Overdrive Dragon, you can. I don't recommend you do that because that build it just loses to Nibiru and it's just kind of ass. There's a lot of other better plays that you could be making with the cards in your extra deck. Um, but recently, I've been testing Crystal Beast with Kashtira Fenir and uh, kind of playing a couple other cards along with it. And it's really fucking good. Like, it's it's kicking the meta deck's ass. So, I would definitely put Crystal Beast in Rogue, even with the milling support from the, you know, Shizu stuff being in the meta. I would still put it in Rogue if it were here. Um, let's kind of move around a bit. Uh, Drytron, I'm going to put it in Rogue. Um, it no longer has Eva still, but you have three Benton. The deck, if you can learn the lines of play, still very good. The fact that they have a ritual monster that makes the opponent skip their main phase is really good. It definitely deserves to be respected. Um, let's bounce around here a bit. So this is kind of like all-encompassing sprite. Uh, is the runic stuff on here? Of course it's fucking not. So we'll use Mystic Mind to encompass the runic sprite stuff. Um, runic itself, like just a straight runic deck would definitely go in rogue. It leads the charge in rogue. Sprite runic is definitely a tier one deck. Just being able to basically stun the opponent out of the game and just run them out of resources. It, it's an amazing deck. I mean, it, it, there's a reason why it won a YCS. Like it, it needs to be respected. Now, with that being said, tier element is going to be tier fucking zero. Like people going to be crying they tears while someone else is in the corner drinking they sprite while playing they sprite deck. Tier element is going to be tier zero with this milling support. Uh, it, it just, it, it's going to be insane. It's going to be absolutely insane what this deck is going to be able to do. You're going to be milling upon milling upon milling, and God forbid you get into a fucking mirror match and both y'all just going to want to, I don't know, beat each other out in the parking lot. Like, it's, it's going to be a, a sad time, pimp. 
Tier Element's gonna be the deck to beat, but you wanna know how you counter it? You play Tier Element, or you play a deck that doesn't care about getting milled, which is basically just runic, maybe 60 card Elder Lich. <laughs> um, ah, this is a tough one. I'm gonna put Flunder at Tier 1. Now, let's, okay, let, let's let's kinda do some other ones here. Um, Math Mech is, is Tier 2. Um, I mean, with a tier zero format, see, the thing is with a tier zero format, everything kind of drops down. So I don't know if danger tier element will still be a thing. So I'm going to put it here at tier one because tier element could still, well, I'll just put it on up here. D danger tier element could still be a thing after the milling stuff. Because remember, Aigido and Kelbeck both say when they're sent from the hand or deck to the grave. So if you activate a danger and they hit like an Aigido or a Kelbeck, you can summon the danger out, draw a card, and then mill five. So there's still going to probably be some universe in which these two are still played together with the milling support. Now, uh, Math Mech and Branded. So tier zero format, everything kind of drops down a peg or two. Math Mech can OTK you with a double attacking access code just very consistently. Branded Despia is still a very good deck. I don't know if they'll use the Ishizu support just because that package in of itself seems so good. You know, being able to use triple Kelbeck, triple Aigido, triple Herald of the Orange Light, all of that good stuff. But I don't really think it belongs in tier one at this point just because tier element is going to be so fucking aggressive um, that it, it, I just, I think it goes in tier two. That's not to say that the deck is bad, either one of these. I just think that if you're not playing tier element or sprite runic, honestly, or even Exosister, which is rogue at this point, um, you're going to have a really bad time. And that, that really sucks to say, but that's what comes with a tier zero format. Everything, every deck that is built in this format should be designed to beat the fuck out of tier element and not let them mill. Sky Striker. So if you saw my uh, runic deck profile from when I got cheated by the cock-eating uh, Sky Striker player who stalled me out in time, <laughs> then that answer right there should tell you how I feel about this deck. As I've said before, this deck's held together by Gorilla Glue, Paste from a first grader's mouth, and Mystic fucking Mine. And then if you're like the player that cheated me, then you just cheat me in time and win with 100 life points higher than me because of fucking Kaina. This deck needs to go die in a fire. It's rogue. If you want to play it, just don't cheat me in time or I'm going to call a judge on you. I, I, this, this deck has a bad taste in my mouth. Um, Salad, I still fucking despise this deck, but it goes in the booty booty butt cheek category. It ain't keeping up with tier milling cards, but someone out there is going to top with Salad, and they're going to probably beat me in the process, because no matter what deck I'm playing, I'll always lose to Salad. So Sword Soul in the tier zero format, I got to go with tier two. It, I don't think it can keep up with things like Sprite Runic, even Flunder potentially, or tier zero tier element. I think that Sword Soul is still good. It has to be able to win the die roll and set up a board that tier element just can't play through. And I don't know if Sword Soul can really do that consistently enough. So it goes in tier two. Adagnister has fallen off the map. Rest in peace to Adagnister. 6,000 attack beat sticks cool. Um, I don't I don't see anybody in the room playing it, George. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and walk on over to the other side of the room here with all the cool kids. <laughs> Um, this deck fell off a cliff. Uh, Adventure Phantom Knight, nah, this, this ain't a thing no more. Um, so Dragon Link with the buy still stuff. Uh, do I put it higher? Uh, no, I can't put it higher than Brandon Despier Math Mech. It's a very good deck. I would say maybe more like tier 1.5. Um, but the stuff it can do is, is really, really cool. So the people at my locals that play this deck are going to hate me, and I'm sorry in advance. This deck's booty booty butt cheeks. Uh, you pay half your life points, like, a lot, <laughs> and uh, you kind of just lose to Runic. Like, I just, I don't, I don't really see how you can beat the deck, because when I beat Dinomorphia at locals the other day, I just didn't really interact with him, and I just sat on Mystic Mind, just kind of won the game. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that's, that's that for you. Um, this encompasses Evil Twin Sprite. Uh, Evil Twin Sprite. I'll, I'll, we'll, we'll put in tier one. Virtual World, rest in peace, it's dead. Um, what the fuck is this? Rika? Rika is rogue. I, I don't see how it's keeping up with this other stuff here. Dogmatica. Dogmatica as an engine is still good, but I feel like it's more of a rogue strategy. It, it helps out the slower rogue decks, I feel. Um, what the fuck is this? Um, I don't even know what this card is. 
Witchcrafter? I'm gonna probably get it wrong and my comment section gonna blow up. This is Rogue, it's not keeping up with this. <laughs> punk? Punk, it, uh, punk has fallen off. It's, no, it's Booty Booty Butt Cheek. I can't even put it in Rogue. This is incredible to see so many Booty Booty Butt Cheek decks. I don't think our butt cheeks have been this filled with booty uh, in one of these tier lists before. Plunder Patrol, uh, it's it's a pile of liquid ass with big old dog chunks inside. Tri Brigade, no one's playing Tri Brigade anymore. Like it, it's really just, it, it can't keep up. It's just, it's too fair. <laughs> um, Pure Shadal, fuck no. I don't know why you're doing that in 2022. Now with tier, uh, yeah. Yeah, you better believe they're gonna be playing one copy of uh, Window with either one to two copies of Beast or one Beast and one Squamata. Yeah, that's insane. Pure Shadal, I don't know what you're doing, pimp. Therion's Earth Box, all that good shit. Why are you playing that when you can probably afford one of these decks? Like honestly, it's no. Uh, stop. <laughs> Eldritch. Maybe someone will prove me wrong. Maybe somebody will because the TCG likes the Eldritch. I'll put it in Rogue. Alistair and Friends. Now nah, it goes in Booty Booty Butt Cheeks. Look at all of these decks in the booty, booty, ass cheek realm. And you've got very few rogue decks, very few tier two. And then you've got at the top tier zero with some tier one mixed in. This should really put to you on paper what this format's going to be like. But you know what? It's okay because tier zero formats show us what the problems are. And Yu-Gi-Oh! so that Konami can fix it. There will be another Tier 0 format at some point in the lifespan of Yu-Gi-Oh! This isn't the first time that this has happened. And it's okay, because, I mean, you can either take a break, you can play a rogue deck, and just build it to beat the best deck. You know, there's nothing wrong with playing a different deck that's not Tier 0 or Tier 1, Tier 2, what have you. Shit, look at me, I'm playing Crystal Beast, a rogue deck that is able to play D-Shifter. Like, I might go 2-3 uh, drop, like, who knows what's going to happen. But that's the deck that I want to play that I feel I have a good chance with. People don't know what the deck does. And if you're playing any of these other top decks, just make sure you're building your deck to beat tier and understand that matchup. So, guys, please let me know what you think about this tier list down in the comments. Or is there something that I miss? Is there a deck that's just not on here that I didn't cover? Um, feel free to let me know in the comments if there's a deck that you have a question on, and I'll let you know. Um, just know that uh, just know that if it's not tier, it's you're going to have a hard time. So... Guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.